What is going on, my friends? How are you guys doing today? Today's date is Friday, March 12th, 2021. My name is Ryan Williams, and we are back with another video. So if you are like me and are someone who invests in dividend paying stocks, one of the biggest things you'll take into consideration when doing your research is will this stock I might be buying into pay me a consistent dividend over time that continues to grow year after year after year. And I'll tell you what, that's a really hard thing to predict because none of us has a crystal ball, none of us can look into the future. But having said that guys, there are a few metrics that we can look at to help us judge whether we think a stock is gonna be likely to continue growing and paying its dividend as time goes on. And that is exactly what we are gonna be talking about in today's video guys. We are gonna run through what you should be looking for when choosing your dividend stocks to help you make sure that they will continue to grow over time. And also at the end of this video, I'll give you a few examples of some great dividend paying companies that are you know, pretty reliable when it comes to growing their dividend. And before we get rocking and rolling in today's video, guys, if you wouldn't mind doing me just the smallest favor and give this video a big fat thumbs up, okay? And be sure to hit that subscribe button while you're at it so you can stay up to date on all future videos, okay? All right, thank you guys so much for doing that. And now, without further ado, Let's get into it. All right, my friends, so like I said in the intro of this video, it is pretty near impossible to predict the future. I have certainly tried my hardest and cannot seem to figure it out. And that's a real big problem when it comes to buying these stocks because we wanna know how they're gonna perform over time. More specifically, when it comes to dividend paying stocks, we want to be as certain as we can that we will continue to get those dividends year after year after year and we would love to know if the companies that we're buying into intend on growing their dividends year over year over year. Because theoretically, guys, with a lot of these companies, we're not solely buying into them for the dividend payment they're providing today, but also what they're likely to provide us in the future. And we can kind of get a sense of what that will look like based on a few different metrics, and that is what we are talking about right now. And the first of which I wanna cover is the years of consistent dividend growth. So while this metric may be super helpful to look at to see how many consecutive years a company has grown their dividends, it is not necessarily the end all be all. All right, just because we can tell where a stock has been doesn't necessarily mean we can predict where it's going to go. Okay, just because a company has been paying and growing its dividend for you know 20 to 30 consecutive years doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be growing it for 20 to 30 or 40 years into the future. However, guys, this is still an important factor to consider and it does provide some sort of sense of comfort when we look at a stock and we can see that it's been growing its dividend for you know 40, 50, 60 consecutive years. And just as kind of a general rule of thumb to consider guys, at least for me personally, uh, in my mind, 10 plus years of consecutive dividend growth is pretty comforting. Now, having said that, guys, I actually do personally own a handful of stocks that have less than 10 years of consecutive dividend growth. And some examples of that, guys, are gonna be Campbell Soup Company, Chevron, Bank of America, and Verizon. All right guys, the next metric we're gonna to wanna to look at when doing our research is the payout ratio. And what this number reflects is the percentage of a company's earnings paid out to shareholders in the form of dividends. And when looking at this number, you don't want too high of a payout ratio because having too high of a payout ratio will create more of a risk that the company won't be able to pay its dividends to us as shareholders if times get tough. And also having too high of a payout ratio doesn't allow the company to allocate some of those earnings in other areas of the business that might help its expansion and its growth, which in turn would be good for us as shareholders. For example, guys, if a company has a 90% payout ratio and is paying out 90% of their earnings to shareholders in the form of dividends, that doesn't leave a lot of money for them in reserves for when times get tough or to reinvest back into the business to you know expand operations. And just to give you guys kind of a rule of thumb to look out for, a payout ratio of like 60% or less, at least in my mind, is pretty acceptable. On the other hand, you also don't want a payout ratio that's too low, so anything lower than like 20, 25%, I'd be like, ah, you know, they're a little stingy with the, the earnings. Now, there are some exceptions to this, guys, and there are a couple different types of companies that are legally required to have a high payout ratio. For example, guys, real estate investment trusts or REITs, like Realty Income or WP Carry, ticker symbols O and WPC, are required to pay out 90% of their taxable income as dividends to shareholders. And as long as they meet these requirements, REITs don't have to pay any corporate income taxes, um, at least from my understanding. 
All right, guys, the last metric that I would recommend looking at to help you consider whether a company is going to be able to consistently grow their dividend into the future is how profitable the company actually is. And this is actually a, a pretty good stock market 101 lesson for you guys. So technically a company that is unprofitable can still pay dividends, but it's really unlikely. And typically the only companies that you see paying out dividends are ones that are actually turning a profit. This is definitely something we want to look for when considering investing into companies, especially if we're buying into them with the hopes of getting a dividend. Because if a company is not profitable, uh, there's a huge chance that they won't pay us a dividend, okay? Just something to look out for. Now having said that, one important thing to look for when doing your research is to make sure that the company is increasing profitability year over year over year. You wanna see profits continuing to rise as time goes on. And I'll tell you what guys, this is a super, super easy thing to do. All you're gonna do is go onto seekingalpha.com, search for your stock, click over to the financials tab real quick, and then compare the gross profit year over year. You want to see this number increasing, definitely not decreasing. That's really all you're looking for. All right, guys, now that we have covered those few different metrics that you wanna look at when doing your stock research to help determine consistent dividend growth into the future, I wanna give you guys just a few examples of some really great companies that pay a consistently growing dividend. Now, I'll tell you what, there are a, so many different stocks out there that have grown their dividends consistently, but for today's video, I wanna focus on three key players. All right, and the three that I'm talking about are 3M, ticker symbol MMM, Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol JNJ, and last but not least, Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO. Now, all three of these companies are what are referred to as dividend kings. And what that means essentially is that they have grown their dividends for over 50 consecutive years. So specifically guys, 3M has grown its dividend for the last 62 consecutive years, while Johnson & Johnson and Coca-Cola both have grown theirs for the last 58 consecutive years. And just for full transparency guys, these are all companies that I personally actually own. And one of the big reasons that I hold all of these companies is because I do see them as reliable investments and I do, based on my own research, think that they will continue to grow their dividends well into the future. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, guys, you know, 62 consecutive years of dividend growth, 58 consecutive years of dividend growth, don't necessarily mean that they're gonna be growing them for the rest of my lifetime. It just depends on so many other things, okay? But seeing that number and seeing that dedication to growing their dividend was something that is, it's very attractive to me. And like I said, that's, that is one of the reasons that I ended up buying into these three companies. I, I mean, you know, it, it's kind of weird. All of these companies have been consistently growing their dividends for like longer than my parents have even been alive. That's just crazy to me to think about. And just to give you a few more examples, some honorable mentions of um, companies that have grown their dividend for longer than 50 years, but I don't personally own are Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG, Lowe's, ticker symbol L-O-W, and Dover Corporation, ticker symbol D-O-V. And on the subject of PG and D-O-V, these are stocks that are currently sitting in my watch list and I do intend to buy them sometime in the near future, hopefully this year, but if not this year, probably next year. I'd like to build out the positions on, on the stocks that I currently have for now, but those two specifically are ones that I'm heavily looking into adding to my portfolio. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys got some great information out of watching this one. Hopefully learned a little something about researching these dividend stocks. And also I hope the examples of stocks I provided were helpful for you. Like I said, some of those were ones that I currently own and probably will hold well into the future if they continue to grow and pay a dividend. And then there are a good handful of other ones out there that I don't own but are certainly worth buying. But you, you know, you can only buy so many and I do not have like a Pokemon approach where you gotta have them all or gotta catch them all I guess is the correct phrase. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one once again. And if you haven't done so already, please, guys, just go give this video a big thumbs up. Just hit that like button for me real quick. And also while you're over there, just mosey on over to the subscribe button, gently tap it. And you know, that way you won't miss out on all the great videos I have coming out in the future. All right, guys. That's enough for me. I will now get out of your hair. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.